yourself your responsibility with Dr. Goodness. If you're just seeing me for the first time, this is a channel where I give you information to enable you to take responsibility for your health. Because I believe that your health is first of all your responsibility. So if you are yet to subscribe with us, please do so and get your friends and family members to also subscribe. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about an interesting topic. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, a sexually transmitted disease and its effects and what our roles are in order to prevent this adverse health effect. So today I'm going to be discussing the chlamydia infection. Yes, a chlamydia infection is actually an infection of the uh, genital tracts, okay, and um, just like I've mentioned before, it is sexually transmitted, so it is referred to as uh, STDs, one of those STDs that are common to us. Okay, so what are the effects of uh, chlamydia infection, you know, and how can we prevent it? How can we prevent this uh, ultimate effect? So, its effects include uh, uh, pelvic inflammatory disease, you know, known as PID, it can cause uh, a urinary tract infection, it can cause, uh, you know, when you hear pelvic inflammatory disease, it actually means that uh, it's actually, it has spread from this localized place say, into neighboring organs and their structure. So, it affects all the structures of the pelvis you know including the urinary bladder the urethra the even the gut you know all the neighboring structures so this uh, this is an infection that can actually give you that and ultimately it can lead to infertility especially in the female so this is not uh, what we want to play with so that's why i want to give you information on how to actually recognize this uh, symptom just like the name implies because it's sexually transmitted it can actually be gotten also from oral cells from rectal cells you know you know as long as there is exchange of um, um, fluid okay so it can actually be gotten through this means now another thing to note is that uh, it's not usually cultured from our normal usual swap culture you know a lot of uh, female just walk into the clinic and they say they want to do a swap culture because they are seeing symptoms of uh, genital tract infection yes you can do the swap culture and have a uh, chlamydia and not even be uh, and without uh, the diagnosis being made because it's not usually captured in this in this culture so it's uh, uh, it, it has a specific test you know that the doctor needs to, to carry out in order to make an accurate diagnosis okay another important thing to note about this infection is the symptoms okay what are the symptoms you know commonly it comes with a vagina discharge that is usually mucopurulence okay that means uh, a bit uh, slimy with a uh, um, order okay so but uh, it's important to mention here that um, sometimes it may actually be asymptomatic meaning that uh, you may not actually be having discharge even while you're having a chlamydia infection and can actually transmit the same infection without having any symptom okay but uh, commonly it comes with uh, vaginal discharge it comes with low abdominal pain very important so it also comes with dysuria sometimes you know, painful urination, okay, and then um, uh, it, 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 these are the common symptoms actually, okay. So, uh, the when it's actually it can actually be passed from a mother to a child through the birth canal you know in this way the neonates can actually have conjunctivitis that is a, a, a infection of the eye you know because of the contamination from the birth canal in addition to that they can actually also have a neurosis you know and uh, other diseases that may arise from that uh, contamination so it's not something you want your child to go through and um, it can also cause what we call reactive arthritis where you start having uh, pains you know uh, joint pains especially so uh, this having the same what is our role you know how can we prevent this okay first of all if since we've known the cause since we've known um, the channel for transmission it is something that we can actually prevent you know by abstinence first of all okay that is the most important uh, uh, prevention and then uh, 
maintaining a single sexual partner very important okay because uh, people who go from one partner to another are actually more likely to contract this chlamydia infection okay so that is an important way and then using protection yes using protection is very important you know, so in order to prevent us from uh, doing this and then during the treatment just like i mentioned earlier the diagnosis is not with swab it's not uh, with culture test so you have to request these tests when you see these symptoms you may actually have to request uh, especially when the doctor is not suspecting it you can suggest that to the doctor so that the doctor will you know carry out the test you know and make the diagnosis because it has a specific treatment a lot of people just go over the counter and take uh, any antibiotic uh, aiming to treat uh, whatever the genital tract infection but these infections are specific in their treatment so it's important you, know, you get a diagnosis and get a doctor's prescription and another important thing is retesting after treatment yes it's good after you've taken the prescribed uh, drugs that you go back and retest make sure that uh, it is totally cured you know because because uh, uh, risk factor is is um, is common that uh, you might have a resistant strain or that the antibiotic you use to cure to treat it is not um, uh, specific enough to take care of it. So it's important you retest, you know, make sure you are clear, you know, from this uh, chlamydia infection. Because I wouldn't want to, you know, to come down with uh, these complications that we mentioned. Okay. So I hope this video has helped you. So please don't forget to like our video. Don't forget to comment and get your friends and family members to subscribe and then hit the notification buttons and please don't forget to give us suggestions on the topic you want us to cover remember we are here to serve you okay and we can only do that when you know what you what you you really need okay so this is your head the responsibility with dr goodness till next time bye